Hello Lolas, how are you guys? So it's me, oh gosh. <laughs> so I haven't did a video in a little while. Um, so I wanted to do a video and I wanna talk about some things. Um, but before I get started, I'm going to bring my little fussy, fussy, wussy baby sound here. Guys, if you don't know who sound is, Sound is the prototype sound sculpted by Kathy Romero Viscitti from Silicon Studio. Um, her website is siliconestudio2.com. And that's where you can order a cuddle head, you can order full bodies, um, Billy, a whole bunch of other babies um, there on her site. Um, I know they are preparing for the doll show, so um, that may change. Uh, some of the shipping time or whatever but definitely go check out the website I'm, I'm sure it will give you the information that you need and if not you can also reach out to them on Facebook um, they have a silicone studio um, page that you can reach out as well so I um, have been enjoying this baby a lot more than I thought but it kind of you know it's one of those things where um, also kind of ties into what I was thinking about talking to you guys about today. So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, we, we spend a lot of time trying to justify our purchases, rather it's the amount, rather it's the, you know, type of, you know, doll that we decide to get, rather it's the type of artist that we use or what artist we use or what um, sculptor we buy from. You know, it's just so many things that we, I feel like a lot of collectors spend so much time justifying their purchase, their, you know, their reasoning, reasoning, their happiness, all of that. Um, and I feel like a lot of us are walking in half truths. Um, a lot of it has to do with because we're not honest with ourselves. The other part is we're not honest with people around us, our circle or trying to fit in um, or, you know, backpedaling and mm, popcorn popping as my <laughs> as my friend would say um you know it's like you know hold on I forgot to say guys if you're new to this channel and you have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment and if you're not following me on Instagram, I am on Instagram as Miss Serenity Smith Babies. I am also on Facebook as Miss Serenity Smith. Um, and I have a paid channel membership, which I am so excited about. We have been, ah, the group is flourishing. I, I am so happy with the group um, at this point. I would love for more of you guys to join. It is $4.99 and you do have to be at least 18 years old. We are doing more in there um i think i'm really starting to really really get into having that channel membership and it's just you know i don't know i've just been loving my lolas period and even if you're not a lola inside the chat box you're still a lola if you're subscribed to this channel you're still a lola if you comment in the comment section i fully fully appreciate you as well because all support is appreciated so um what I was going to say is that you know sometimes like except for instance you know my my little my little pookie here and I named her by the way her name is Harmony um shout out to one of my um Lola's customers um Dolly says um she recommended the name Harmony for her and I was like I love it I love it I love it I love it this baby is not of course going to be for sale she's staying in my personal collection but this is her up close and she is a fussy wussy baby now I also I forgot to mention I did a, blo a blog on her um it was it's on MrRendeSmithBabies.com and I talked about sound the perfect sound um, I like to write different things and I've been doing that all my life. In fact, like I said, the history of this channel 
started with me being a blogger. I was a blogger for over three years. I wrote every single morning in that blog, on that blog, before I went to work, okay? Um, so I was very dedicated to it. So writing is something I love to do. Um, anyway, so I, I, I was talking about, you know, the first cry and all that. You can go read it for yourself. But anyway, that blog was more to kind of give a little insight of how I view my baby sometime and how I come up with these, you know, ideas of them and how I imagine my babies and how I... You know, I give them these personalities and storylines, and I think a lot of us do that in the community. But, you know, it just, it just makes it, you know, even more fun with collecting. But what I'm talking about is when we have to be like, oh, the only reason I bought this because, you know, I, I couldn't get this. Or, well, I got this. Well, the only reason I got it is because she had it on sale. Or... You know, or, um, you know, I like this baby, but, you know, you know, it, well, it's because it's cheaper or it's because of this and it's because of that. Like, just be unapologetically you. If you want something, you got it. You got it because you like it. And that's that. You know, when you are, you know, straddling the fence, you know. I don't like the sculptor. I don't like the baby, but I bought it and it's going to be forever and this and that. Like, it's like, what? <laughs> what? You know, it's like, I remember when I transitioned from not buying all high-end babies, not painted by me, to collecting some of my own babies or you know, buying from other different, you know, uh, sculptors and artists and stuff like that. I remember having a surge of, like, judgment um, or guilt. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe shame. Um, and, and let me explain that. Shame because I felt like... You know, when I look back and I listen to what people had said about me for, you know, years and years and saying, oh, how you think that's the only, you know, sculptor that can be great and how, you know, you're this and, and how you feel like, you know, only your Claritella dolls can be perfect or, you know, this or that. And I, and I felt like the shame was that Honestly, I think if I be truthful, <coughs> sorry, I need water. <clears throat> if I be truthful, I'm ashamed because I actually somewhat felt like maybe I did have the only ultimate experience. Um, maybe I felt like other people just couldn't possibly understand realism with that sculpt <laughs> um th that sculptor is not no that's not realistic you know mm, i don't know you know um it's not gonna be the same you know i i think somewhere down deep down and i i know i'm probably gonna get you know some some you know some uh, judgment for even admitting to that. But I think at some point, because I had the type of people that I was talking to, and it, when I did like other things, by the time they tear it down, I started to think, yeah, you're right. It isn't, that isn't really proportionate, or that isn't this, or it isn't that. And, you know, and then I began to believe that nothing could compare until I stepped out of that box and I was like, oh, I could actually love this baby. It actually feels real. It actually looks real. And I'm not broke. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. You know, 
we have our guilty pleasures and you can spend whatever you want to spend and if it's something that you ultimately love again be unapologetically you if you want to spend you know 10 15 20 thousand dollars on your babies own that first of all be glad that you got that to spend that hello <laughs> baby listen baby you talk it because you ain't got it <laughs> you know what i mean like don't don't feel bad about that. Don't feel like, oh, I'm cheated because I bought what I felt like was the best of the best. But, you know, I feel like the community has so much judgment within. Um, it's just like, you know, the two-headed babies and stuff. It ain't my thing. And yeah, when I see one, I'm like, what the what? But I'm like, okay, that's their thing. You know, that's their thing. Let them have it. You know, whatever, whatever. But it ain't for me and I keep scrolling. I, I'm not hearting it. I'm not liking it. I'm not commenting on it because what I have to say is not going to be, you know, socially pleasing. You know what I mean? I just think it in my head and keep on scrolling. But I can respect people doing what they love and getting what they want regardless of what the majority says and i don't think i was going by what was on popular demand i wasn't chasing after brands and i'll say that over and over again i didn't care about the name itself but i liked the product i liked the sculpting i liked the painting i liked what i was buying and i didn't mind spending whatever it took to get what I wanted because I felt like I could um but I think you know as I start to say okay you know life you know life is changing for me my perspective on things is changing how I want to spend within this hobby is changing for me um you know, my budget and wanting to be able to explore more dolls. I would never be able to just buy kits, you know, um, here and there and back to back if I was still collecting at that, in that range, in that price range. Which is why, you know, mostly every single doll I had was just by one sculptor, one artist, and that was pretty much it, you know, for the most part. Um... And I really wasn't collecting Reborns as much anymore because I couldn't afford to. And so now that I've been doing that, I've been opening up my eyes. I've been understanding why, you know, so many people could care less about, you know, the top brand names or these high, you know, price babies and stuff like that. And even with myself, there are people that consider my prices to be extremely high and they're like... I can go to so-and-so and get, you know, X, Y, Z instead. You know, I get that. Even though I would love to have your money. <laughs> Baby, I'm not going to lie. Um, I just, I get it. You know what I mean? I get it. Um, you know, sometimes I look at collectors and I'm like, oh my God, they're all over the place. They collect everything. Um, but that's their thing. And if they can afford to do it and if that's what makes them happy, do it. You know what I mean? I just feel like we should do less worrying about what people think or why we got to just, oh, the only reason I was able to do this is because I had to put it on my credit card or I was, you know, or my husband bought this or um, I sold this, that, and the other. Like, we, just like when we get ready to put up a baby for sale, we shouldn't have to make up excuses. We shouldn't have to talk about how the cat broke his hip and it needs a hip replacement and how... You know, the cat had Cadillacs in his eyes and we got to take it to an optician or what? what is it an optician or an iatrician? You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. You shouldn't have to do all that. You should just be able to say, okay, this baby is up for sale. I've decided to put this baby up for sale and here's a, this and another. The condition is, you know, like new or in mint condition or this baby have some wear and tear. Here are the disclosures, blah, 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 blah. The reason and why you do it is none of our business, you know. It's kind of like, I don't need to put a wear badge on and tell you, tell you guys everything that's wrong with me. Like, I'm not, you know, all I, all you need to be caring about is the doll itself. You know, it's... It, 
no so i feel like when we get dolls and when we get certain dolls if we've been collecting you know lower end dolls or i'm gonna say lower price dolls because that high end and low end that that's that's subjective um when we get the 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 we've been collecting lower price dolls and all of a sudden we go out and buy this big huge purchase and when we do our box opening or we announce that we're expecting we got to give this long story and justify why we decided to spend all this money and i think sometimes we're a little guilty because sometimes like i know i've done it like i would like I don't have money for this or I'm not going to spend XYZ for such and such doll. I refuse to do that. Da, 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 da. Next thing you know, I got that baby that cost me the same amount as that I refuse to spend. Now it's like you back paddling and popcorn popping. You know what I mean? It's like now you're trying to explain and justify something that's simple. You have the right to change our mind. You have the right to change your opinion. If you speak on things that you have not yet to experience or you know nothing about, it's like a 90% chance you're going to make an ass of yourself. It's just almost guaranteed. Um, because you're speaking on something you've never experienced or you know nothing about. And until you experience it and see it for yourself, put your hand on it, touch it, play with it, Okay, ew. Before you have the experience <laughs> of, you know, interacting with uh, the art or, you know, seeing something, you, you really, you're only speaking off of what you've heard and what you've seen from afar. So that's why I try my hardest not to really speak on, you know, certain products that I have not seen or certain, you know, artist work that I have not seen. Well, in fact, since I started painting, I try my hardest, but I'm still a collector and I'm still human, but I try my hardest not to speak on other artists' work, period, because then that comes back to me tenfold. And so, and we all got our flaws and our weakness areas. So you really don't want to do that as an artist, <laughs> but you know, people do it all the time. But anyway, something I've been working on. Um, but yeah, so live in your truth. Whatever you buy, whatever you do, how much ever you spend is your money, is your life, is your happiness. Who, who are we to judge? You know what I mean? So be your authentic self. You know, if you have friends that hate a particular artist or hate a particular sculptor and you've laughed with them and you've shared some jokes with them and you've made certain comments, okay. You did that, but hey friends, now I've experienced it for myself. My opinion changed friends. And if they can't respect that, then they're not your friends. Like what are they gonna do? Delete you, <laughs> block you. <laughs> I mean, okay. You don't need those kind of people. If they're not gonna if they're not gonna support you in something that makes you happy, are they really your friends? Do you really wanna be around people like that? You know, because some people are all against everything until they can afford to get it themselves or they get the opportunity to get it themselves. I've seen it happen before so many times. I've seen where someone bash a particular sculptor, bash a particular artist, talk down on them so bad, I mean like trash. And then as soon as the first opportunity for them to get a baby at a, a lower price or whatever, um, all of a sudden, you know, oh, exception to the rule. This one is great and the artist did great on my baby. Now, all of a sudden, forget all that I've said about everybody else, baby, and everybody else saying how great the artist is because it wasn't great until you had it. So, you know, we, we got to do better as a community. This community has some great, great, great things about it but there are some really sucky things about it sometimes and to be honest i think the most judgment you get doesn't come from the outside it's within the community that's the part that really stings it's the community itself is the worst um because you expect you know people to understand to get it it's just like the whole role play thing it's like 
what level you role play on what you know how far is too far you know everybody got their measuring cups out you know and it's just we all gonna be judging we're human we're all gonna have but sometimes the just the personal attacks and the shaming and this you know price shaming people and judging people for their personal choices and things that don't technically directly affect you is a bit much and you know I'm going to get off of this soapbox, but I'm just going to say, once again, I have not been as happy as I am now since I've been living in my whole truth, doing whatever I want to do, not letting other people influence me, um, manipulate me, uh, make me feel like I'm doing something wrong or, you know, I'm less than because I happen to like a new sculptor's work or a new artist's work. Um, I am, I am, I am just the most happiest I've been in a very, very long time. And, you know, I have not had one person that have blocked me unfriended me or that I've blocked or unfriended I have not had one person that I felt like I lost something right because you know sometimes we have miscommunications or misunderstandings and yeah you know sometimes you regroup but I'm talking about people that I haven't talked to in years or you know people that I haven't been friends with in years or, uh, you know, sometimes we, you know, we're, we're passing ships and people come in for, I know it's cliche and we say it all the time, they come in for a season and they season pass. And when you keep holding on to those people, when you're supposed to let them go and move on, you're slowing down your blessings and your happiness. Just let it go. Don't even think twice about it. Be glad that somebody removed themselves out of your life because maybe it's for the best. I'm going to say not always. So it's exceptions to the rules, but you know what I'm saying in general. Um, I just want to thank you guys once again for supporting my channel. I know I can just get very talkative and I guess that's why I do YouTube. But I really appreciate you guys. Um... This journey has been fabulous. I have lots of documented things going on. I have some new stuff coming up for my channel. I can't wait, wait, wait. Um, and yeah, I always say that though. And then sometimes I don't end up doing it. Oh no, I'm not gonna be doing it on this channel. That's right. I'm actually going to be starting a new channel. But I'll talk about that at a later date. But we'll talk later. Goodbye. For now.